Be proactive. You're in charge of yourself. By now, we're all pretty familiar with this character. Who is she? If you said Mirabelle, you got it right. Mirabelle is helpful, kind, and smart. When Mirabelle first sees the cracks in the casita floor, she does the proactive thing and starts to investigate why this is happening to her family. Being proactive is not always easy. As you can see here, Mirabelle has to work hard to get to the top of the Prophecy Tower. When Mirabelle finally puts the prophecy together, she realizes that it's up to her to save the magic in her family. Mirabelle talks with Elisa and helps her realize she doesn't always have to carry everything in the family. Mirabelle also speaks with Isabella and finds out she thinks she has to be perfect all the time. Mirabelle shows her it's okay to not be perfect. At the end of the movie, we see that Mirabelle's proactive choices along with her own special kind of magic helps heal her family and they all come together again in their brand new casita. Now, let's look at a couple scenes from the movie and see if the characters acted proactively or not. First, we'll look at Abuela in this scene. There is nothing wrong with La Casa Madrigal. The magic is strong! Instead of acting proactively, Abuela chooses to ignore the problems she sees in her family. Eventually, this leads to the candle losing its magic. Now let's look at another character, Bruno, and see how he handles his problems. Yeah, my, my gift wasn't helping the family, but, uh, but I love my family, you know? I just don't know how to, I just don't know how to. Well, anyway, I, I think you should go because um, I don't really have a good reason. But if I did, you'd be like, I should go because that's a good reason. Sometimes facing your problems proactively can be hard. And like Bruno, sometimes it seems easier to just hide yourself away from your issues. By now you're probably thinking, how do I be proactive? Here's some ways how you can be a proactive person. Just like Isabella, when she finds out she can grow more than roses, ask yourself, what else can I do? Remember when you're feeling angry or upset about something that you control your emotions. It's okay to be angry or upset, but you control how you react. And most importantly of all, it's okay to ask for help. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed and that's okay. That's when we need to realize we need to ask for help. So remember, be like Mirabelle. Be proactive. You're in charge of yourself.